What's going on pros? This is Mike with another Dirty Promotions video, 2020 Canyon. People ask me about this hump right here because they're probably two staging it. And let me show you a very easy way to go ahead around this hump, literally. So, give me, uh, get my stuff here in place. It is 95 degrees. It is for 8, April 8th. And uh, thanks a lot for all the followers around the world. This is a GM vehicle. It's got retention clips like all the other GM vehicles. Stick one of these flat tools in there to the back. And of course, do it to the back. Don't be afraid. Nothing's going to happen. So let's go ahead and go around and see what's going on here. Okay, as you can see right here, these are the retention clips. They go in there. Of course, they got to be forced out just by pressure like that. So we'll walk them up a little bit more here. There's another retention clip there, so. Okay, just push them back and that'll be that. One there. And perhaps another one way over here. There he is. And there it is. Okay, so. We've exposed this, and if you have one of these tools as a wedge, help yourself to keep this guy open like that. That way you can go ahead and remove that sweep. This guy is going to be in the way. They always are. Um, but a trickery, a trickery to getting around this guy. This guy is under this plastic thing right there, right? So we can move him out of the way very simply just doing that. Push him out of the way. Okay, and there he is. Okay, this is this deal right here. Push him up. And lo and behold, this is your little gasket. Comes out. If you guys still do not want to venture into removing sweeps like that, I do not know what is wrong with you. This is very simple. You're going to bottom load it. Everything's going to be a lot faster and cleaner. But still, I'm not a dictator. I'm not going to tell you how to run your business. So that's that go ahead and get my where is my oh put my thing out here yesterday okay contactless window film installations um, that's what we're doing today more of a tutorial than anything else so there we have that. People ask me how do you put these on? Just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this guy up. So I have my clearance that I need all over, so we're good. The customer asked me to remove these stickers, so I will. So this is the only time I'm gonna introduce one of these guys in here. As you already know, I don't use square blade for the glass, being that globalization has made glass kind of like on a fucking cheapy ass quality but hey who's the consumer we are sometimes we ask for less expensive and of course this is what we get and my other pals rightfully so they say well it's not that what it is that a lot of ceos and of course people that own shares and whatever shareholder that's what it is they want more fucking money so they're always pushing to have less cost, more profit. Therefore, we have this bullshit, um, less expensive cutting corners, glasses, regardless of who makes it. That doesn't really matter who makes them. Everything's being globalized, so it is what it is, right? So therefore, I'm using plastic razor blade and my keen eye looking for where problems of shit might be at. This is a 2020, so it ain't got too many problems. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and snap the way we've been snapping, just for the people that wanna like, I get a finger here and there, why? I, well, let's go ahead and snap it and hopefully your mysterious fingers questions will go away. If not, we'll come back to the drawing board. Easy as that. Okay. These are very simple installs, but I, I need you to go ahead and get it that, man, bottom loading is king, prep is king. I have on a daily basis people asking me about mystery specs and 
and I tell them, look at my videos. Look at my videos. I want you to go ahead and be an investigator while you're looking at the videos, you know. And I discuss these things while I'm doing the video. And I have an idea that maybe they're not looking at the videos and therefore getting all these little questions of why is this spec coming out or whatever. So I can't do nothing about that, right? I can only show a mule where the water is at. Hey, you. But I cannot force him to drink water. Analogy applies same here. If you guys don't want to break some habits, well then don't. And keep on having some mystery spec problems, huh? Okay. I'm gonna close this door. 95 degrees, all this UV light kills all this COVID bacteria, thank God. All right, he's closed. Let me go ahead and turn on these nice LED lights. There you go. And let's go ahead and take this to town, Charlie Brown. Look at that. The areas that you can't reach, go ahead and use something still to reach far below so you don't have none of these areas of saying, well, I cannot reach that. Well, yeah, you, yes, you can. Just use a, another tool to reach way down there where you're not reaching right now. And there it is. And then use this very, very, very controlled. Whatever is down there, a system, assist dust particles to be washed down there you go okay we are going to go ahead and drop all this guy down there you know what i didn't clean this guy let me clean him right now there you go just there on the edges nothing else good as gold this is global ceramic QDP. That's why the brown color. Customer wanted that. Customer's getting that. All right. Take this baby to town here. Always start at an angle, of course, like that, and help this guy down very fast controlled and then from here uh, man this is aggressive adhesive okay write them down write them down write them down charlie brown and then make contact here and watch this corner here so i'm going to lower it there you go just like that and then put him back where he belongs you guys are welcome to use much more slip that way you don't encounter what you're looking at, but I like to use the same very control slip and I'm good. Okay, there he is. Plus working with the rubber gloves, it makes me be uh, more sloppy on everything I'm doing. I can't really feel what's going on. <sighs> okay, there he is, distribution all the time. All right, instead of us just go ahead and closing out the video, I'm going to go ahead and show you something that I've never done before. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put that uh, sweep back. That way you don't have to worry about how do I put it back. This right here is a cut from the computer, and I don't like it because it's not curving. So I'm just going to go ahead and snip that corner real quick. I can't do anything about it. Maybe on my... On my other one, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, see that right there. That is on top of the curve, so it was going to peel. And I don't want that. I don't want customers to come back for that. So, all right. Roll this guy up. He's done. Bottom part. Um, boop, out, out, out. Okay. We're good. 
We're good. Okay. I'm gonna roll them all the way down, that way I can be done with this deal. Okay, get this guy. Always, always, always put a little bit of lube in the channel, right in the channel where it's gonna go. The fuzz, of course, goes out there. Let me remove this out of the way. There he is, my dirty guard. Protected everything from water, all good. Now we're gonna put this guy back in here. It's got some salt slip solution in there. Okay. Push him back. This one, because he's gonna go below, this is the trick I was gonna show you. Go like this, and go like that, and he's pretty much done. This guy that popped, this guy got out of that hole. So I'm putting him back in the hole because if you do that and it's crooked, you won't be able to put him back. So put him in the hole like that. Remove this guy and we're go ahead and check on the other side. Make sure all these are in the slot. They're where it's supposed to be at. They're all good. So simple as fucking that 100%. Let's go ahead and roll this up. And please tell me that it's just a million times easier than doing a two stage with all the possibilities of problems and whatever on the side. I share it because I love you. I share it because it works. If it didn't work, then I'll share something else. And of course the pattern is cut well enough that Yeah, he went all the way to the side so let me just dry him up he went all the way to the side so success no little things there on the side same thing there so a whole lot of success clean your vehicle at all times regardless if i spilled some water and that's because i i didn't do a cut on the outside it would probably contaminate this outdoor or the outside of the door more so we're done there you guys are super and phenomenal guys have a great day gopro stop recording